What is up guys, it is Nick, and we are back to finish the Fallen Kingdom DLC. Had a little, like, minor... We it wasn't even like a crisis, it was just like a weirdo thing happened. Uh, so I gotta kinda remember where I left, <laughs> left off, because usually I record a bunch of these in a row. Uh, so I think... Oh yeah, we're on to just, uh, Baronix, we need Baronix, and, um, Indoraptor. So we can have two Baronix and one Indo. How do we want to lay this out? <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Don't need it at all. Alright, so we're going to have to connect this path a different way. Please, t that should fit. Connect that. Arc it around. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Not not like this game. There we go. I say don't don't do it to me. All right. Let's go ahead and delete this for now. Delete that and that. All right. So now, how do we want to do this? I want to get rid of this tree first and foremost, because it's gonna bro that's gonna bother me. All right, let's get let's let's do some landscaping here first. Get rid of these trees. They're just kind of in the way. How much of the park do we still have left after we do this? So if I bring this to be about equal, we still have a lot of park left. Fantastic. That's what I was hoping. Okay, so clear all of this out so we got room. And let's get rid of the water. Um, let's also flatten this. That's not really what I wanted to do. How about smooth it out? Just smooth it. I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue, but I do want to smooth that out just a little bit. Okay. So, let's go ahead. First of all, let me check my power. Uh, and see if we have to do anything with that. Um, okay, so that's totally used up. And that's almost... Let me plop down some more power over here. Just so I don't have to worry about it. With money not really being an issue, I'm just going to make sure that I'm fully powered up at all times. All this water. Alright, so power. Large substation. Hmm. All right, real quick, delete this path. Delete this. All right, there we go. All right, real quick, connect this. And... Connect this to where does it connect? Really, it can't reach. Okay, fine. Put that there, and then connect it. Um, I want to make sure that it's connected to everything. So I'm gonna do connect it. How is that not allowed to connect there? There we go. think <clears throat> yeah it's not gonna let me go around that way all right it'll just have to connect where I have it connected now I gotta make sure that this connects yeah we gotta make sure that this bad boy connects to this so we'll connect it right there 
Alright, there we go. I'll probably end up moving this, but for now, it's in a pretty decent spot. So, I actually want to delete this and restructure this real quick. I know I'm wasting a little bit at the beginning of this episode on stuff that's not even related to the dinos, but I do like my park to look a little cleaner than this, but that's all right. Looks good enough. Okay, so how do we want to design this? So, let me bring this out. I have to delete the road. Okay, so let's bring this out. Okay, that makes it even. Do I even need a pen this big? I don't know why I call them pens, but <clears throat> an exhibit this big. <clears throat> um, let's see. Oh, I disconnected these things. I don't really need them. Let's just delete them. We don't need them on this island. I will eventually put them somewhere for, like, aesthetic purposes, but right now they don't need to be on the island. There we go. Alright. Let's see. So, if I take this... Put another fence down. I take it off like this and wrap it around. Should probably... I thought I'd be able to design it without putting these down, but it's kind of important I put these down, I guess. Okay, definitely gonna put this thing down. Let's put it down. I think right there is good. So I can run the path down here. Curve it in. And connect. There we go. Alright, so now gotta do the power. Let's substation here. Tuck it in nice and tight. And I'm gonna bring it to here. And then connect it there. I can wrap this. Let's see. There we go. I do kind of like when I curve these roads like this. Where they're not just perfectly aligned. Because a lot of the time I'll perfectly align them and, I don't know, it's a little... gets a little boring. Not that curved. Gives the walls a little character. Alright, so now... Twist this around the outside. Really comes down to how much of this I think I need to have visible. But I think, let's see, I have to put it like right there to get the, so it'd be a little smaller. Because if I start moving it, I guess I could move it right there is as far as I could put it down if I want to maximize the viewing. I guess I'd probably move it up to, like, here. That would maximize it. Hmm. I don't know. I'll hold off for now. Let's go ahead and get this one. Let's get the viewing platforms down here. So if I put one there, it goes to about the white. So let's come over here. Yeah, we'd be good. We could do it like this. Except the terrain is an issue. Um, let's, let's do that. That really divots the terrain right there. 
I gotta let that build so I can see exactly what I'm working with. I think it's good where it's at, but I always like to let it build a little bit here so I can 100% check. right there. Perfect. Do I? I don't think I do. Let's put a gate here, if it'll let me. There we go. Put a gate there. I'll have to put the gate up there somewhere. Um, I want a gate between these two, so let's put it a little bit closer. Let's put it there. So I guess with this, since it's designed the way it's designed, we flatten this. I just want to flatten the area right in front of the thing, right in front of the viewing platform so it looks correct. Alright, that's good enough. It gives it a little bit of character. I guess I can start my Baronyx going. We can gene mod them a little bit more here. So we got the coastal. We got immune. Let's get some hyper efficiency blood. So right now it's at 90%. So I think I can fully mod this bad boy out. Hyper efficiency. It's at 70%. Let's just do another success rate and it'll be at 100 no reason to any, even chance it. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Should probably release those two and just see exactly what kind of exhibit I want to do for them. But this can be our little Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom area. Okay, so now we can finally put down the rest of these to see. That uh, gets a little tight there. Um, probably better to put it here. I mean, we can even build it off a little bit. Like, pretty much like that. Yeah, I think I got an idea here. So, put that down right there. Connect it. Now... Bend it, there we go. Okay, on. Let me bring it from this side now. I'll curve it back, not a whole lot. I don't I don't want to bend it back too far there. But I'll bend it a little bit. And then there we go. Alright. So now pretty tightly wanna curve it here. I mean, like I said, I want it to be about even. That's about even. So for now, I'll finish off this, but we're going to add that other viewing platform in. There we go. And bring this around. There we go. Okay, got those completed. Let's go ahead and get the fences down. They're not the fences, the gates. How can I not put it? Oh, hold on. There was the gate spot. There it is. And I want to put a gate in from the outside so it doesn't have to come from going through and around. All right. I think we're looking good. Let's restock feeders while we're here, while we're Feeder thinking about it. Inbound. Restock these. No problem. Request yeah. acknowledged. Acknowledging request for feeder resupply. 
Request acknowledged. Her. Attending to feeder supply. Resupply, Adding to resupply. Confirm resupply. task. Alright. What is not oh this is unpowered. Alright, substation. Actually, substation. That'll do it. And oops, going back all the way out. Okay, so now my grand vision here is not so grand. Never mind, this actually would actually probably make more sense to to just put one of these bad boys in. Oops. Yeah, that makes the most sense is to put it like right here. And then connect the fences to it and then just bring it kind of wide that off. Because that gives me a lot more coverage. I guess I could just do this. Bring it into this corner here. It's probably the best bet. Because right now we got that big gap. So yeah, I'm just going to bring it into the corner. I wanted to bring a pathway directly down the line anyway. So let me do that. Slightly out. Come back. And there we go. Alright, so now we need a power. We need power here. Yep, I knew it wouldn't make it, so I'll do that and that. Alright, so now I can actually mess with this area just a little bit. So, let's enclosures. Well, I made a grave mistake because now I can't connect. I like did it too perfect. Okay, hold up. Do a much just straighter path. Curve that in. Now, let's power it up. Probably won't fit now. Yep, definitely not going to fit. So I'm going to have to put it in this corner. Oh, oh, I had it. And then I lost it. There we go. There's that and that. And we're all powered up. Alright. Now we just got a path connect. And there we go. Alright. So we are in business. I think I gotta give the Baronix the bigger enclosure, the double Baronix. So, go ahead and put this down. Put three over here. And then we will put in the water. So let's go ahead and open these gates. Hopefully they find their way. I mean... Decent looking dinosaur. Not anything crazy, but decent. Let's see how good the game's auto tracking is. Is it going to be able to figure out that if I go through here and then here, I'll get food? Looks like it. It's kind of a small dinosaur to be kind of limited to two. 
Keep going. Alright, so. We got the Allosaurus, we got the Baronyx, we got the Carnotaurus. So now all we need is the Indoraptor. And I'm fully ready to gene mod him all the way out. Or... Let's go with the Taiga pattern. Speaking of that, I heard like... I haven't heard like any Taiga in forever. It, it was weird when I heard him yesterday on like the radio. Like I used to, or not used to, but I've like listened to like, you know, the old Taiga stuff. Not a lot of the new stuff. Alright, Indoraptor. You're at 14% now. How high? Wow, you can get like mega gene modded out. Holy crap. Everything is just hyper efficiency blood. Alright, negative 54%. Okay. Well, this is definitely not gonna fail. Okay, so they're in there. We can close this gate. We can prep this for the Indoraptor. So I'm gonna assume that the Indoraptor would much prefer a live bait feeder to anything else. So, actually gonna do it this way. We're gonna place three live bait feeders over here. Let me get rid of this one. Alright, what do you guys need to be happy? Forest. You need a little more forest. Alright, so... Forest. I'll get to that feeder in just a second, game. Give me one hot minute. A little over there, a little up in this corner. Alright, you guys happy? You guys are happy! Alright. Ranger team one, go refill request. this crap. Adding task. How many guests are in this park now? 8,000. Not very happy about anything, but there are 8,000 people. Alright, while I wait for that Indoraptor, that will probably fail. Let me connect this monorail real quick. Come on, I want to take it around the outside of the park. Let me bring this one out. There's that, please let me connect this. There we go, let's go. All right, so we got that connected. We do have, I mean, we do have a fossil zone. We got some food down here, so. Let's sell this for 55 bucks. And a restaurant. I guess we might as well max out the people. Doesn't really or the max out the people serving. How about a thirty-three dollar giganto steak? Okay, I actually want to try. Eh, eh, we'll leave it for now. It's not a big deal. Okay, so it's time to let's see. We're in a corner here. Still have all of this other half of them. We only have about half of this map filled up. So I want to close this gate. Close the gate. I want to release these guys. Just so I can see exactly what they want. Because if I don't know what they want, then I can't. It's just pointless. I can't make them an exhibit. And I think I want to make the exhibit right over here. So it's like this bottom part here with that exhibit over there will be the the uh, Fallen Kingdom DLC area. Alright. So two to seven people. 
cool. So we can have two to seven of you. And what do you want? Hurry up and move before you get trained. Come on, move. Move, thank you. Four to twelve, two to fourteen. Two to sixteen, two to seven. So we could have like six of those and six of these. Alright, that sounds pretty good. Acknowledging I can live with that. Request. Can you guys put him to sleep, please? Alright, let's get success rates in here. Try to incubate these guys. We'll just get it ready for uh, when people die. So let me actually get a better Allosaurus modded and ready to go. So wetland, hyper efficiency blood, defense, brain aging, hyper efficiency blood, hyper efficiency blood. Brain aging and hyper efficiency blood. Negative 33. Okay. Indoraptor's about halfway there. So, now. Now comes the fun part. Can I put this Hammond Creation Lab where I want it? Yes, I can. Okay. So, if I hug tight. I can put it right here. But I'm wondering with a little bit better optimization. I understand this is gonna disconnect it, but a little better optimization. Was it obstructed by? Okay, fine, delete this. Little. What is it obstructed by right here? Let me. Let me get my full optimization game. Okay, like that's where I want it. That's where I'd love it. It's like. Or. Just place it right there. But I don't think I can fit a pathway here to connect. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, it's not gonna work. I mean, unless I, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Spam the A button, because I saw it, I saw it. Okay, oh, oh, hold on. I delete this, slightly adjust where it is, can I do this? Get rid of this real quick. I don't have the Indoraptor in there yet, so I can actually delete that. Delete this. I think this will work. Before I do anything, let me see if I can, can get this path through here. Yes, sir! Yes, I can. That's what I'm talking about. Boom! Okay, connect the fence here. Bring this fence here. Bring it in there, and perfect. Absolutely perfect. Should be able to sneak a substation in right here. Well, that came perfectly to plan. 
Oh, the Allosaurus was getting so close. You can really gene mod him up. Okay, so... Now... Go ahead and... Drop that there. Okay, uh, let's get a viewing gallery going. I think that's good right there. I guess we can do this so when the exhibit is ready, these dinos are good to go. Some success rates. Alright, is that. That's not Indoraptor. Good to go. Okay, um. Okay, so with two success rates, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's. I think I want the uh, Sinoceratops in there first. So we got the jungle pattern, we got hyper efficiency blood, brain aging. This will be brain aging too. All right, yeah, they only need, need two success rates, so we can go with an with an incubation speed for the first two. Okay, and then hatchery capacity. Boom. And then one more hatchery capacity. So that makes it 60%. Let's get rid of, let's get one more. I said six and six. So we'll try to incubate six Sinoceratops. So when we get this exhibit done, they will be all good to go. Do that, uh, come on. Let's just curve it up and in. Oh, what's it obstructed on? Now will they okay now they'll connect. So let's do it that way. One already failed. Okay, so how big do I think I need this to be? What I do know is now we do need to get another ranger station at least. So I'm gonna put that here. It's just getting a little too tight. Uh, I guess I'll get another ACU center. No reason really not to. It's probably water here. That's going to be my guess. But there is some water here. For my own curiosity, I want to know. Is there water there? Oh no, it's just... I don't know what it's stuck on then. Oh, there's water right here. Look at that little puddle. Causing me to not be able to put that down. I don't know. I don't know how I, I still don't know how I feel about that mechanic of the water as one of the things that won't just automatically get rid of for you. Alright, can I fit you? Right. I can't fit you right in there. Can't fit you there can fit you over here, but I don't think you're gonna, well, we'll see. You gonna power what I need you to power? Oh, I think it did. It is powering it. Good. Okay. So, Ranger Shot 3, accuracy, scheduling, scheduling, scheduling. Oh, like it looks like they're all gonna make it. All right, are you ready? There we go. Indoraptor is good to go. Ooh, that's a cool skin on him. Don't eat the. Don't eat him. Don't eat him. Bad Indoraptor. Bad. Don't do it. Don't eat him. 
I want to put my water for him up in the corner. Shrink the radius down just a wee bit. There we go. Indo, go in. Oh, he, Indo, you douche McGruber, you killed him. I forgot that he was actually asleep in there. Indo, go to your area, bro. Stop being a weirdo. Alright, I'm gonna put some trees in this corner here. Asset being transported. And a little bit, one tree there. Got a tree or two here. I don't really know how many trees he wants. How many trees do you want? More than I have. I really hope you're not like the Brackies and are super annoying with your tree love. Alright, that should be enough trees, right? Yeah, that's good. Alright. I don't like the Brackies tree love just simply because it means your whole entire freaking exhibit is trees. And who wants that? Alright. Back to the important thing, which is trying to finish getting all the dinosaurs from the Fallen Kingdom into the park. Alright, if I can, I'll run this right next to the ACU Center. go perfect so that's kind of the cutoff point here is running it right next to that before I need to use this and they don't have the mods on that I want them to that, that scheduling and scheduling and I did not mod this new power station out at all so outage protection improved output improved output and improved output All right, so. Viewing gallery. Right there. Let's take this and tilt it. There we go. Perfect. Did everybody make it? Everybody make it. Nice. Okay. Tilt this fence back a little. Curve it now. Curve, there we go. Curve and then curve it back up towards. There we go. Now, easy access to putting down a substation. Or maybe not. Okay, please connect, thank you. All right, so now I gotta get rid of some of this water. It's gonna be in the way. Okay, so what is next? Let's get another viewing gallery. I don't know how big I need to make this. Um, how about to like, right... Oh, I can't really demonstrate how I want it right now, but... I think I'll tilt it this way and I'll bring the pathway around. So... See, I gotta let that build now. So I can connect it. It's the one thing I don't like about this is you gotta connect and power before you can see exactly what it's seeing. So I'm gonna do this the quickest way I know how. Since money isn't an object, I'm gonna do this. throw that down there. There we go. Just for experimental purposes to see what this covers. Oh, 
Okay. Viewing gallery. Okay, so if I put this, like, right here and connect it, that can be the exhibit, I think. I might, need, I might not even need that. There would just be a little bit in the corner over there that you couldn't see. And I guess if I tree it up at the corner, it won't really matter. So, okay, I think we're good. So we'll bring this to here. Delete that. this out. Alright, now I think it's time for the curve. Curve it and curve it. That's a fairly decent sized cage. Not too, not too small, but not too enormous. I mean, the only place is if you put it right here. Or like right, yeah, it'd be like right here. That'd be the spot that I put it if I put it. But oh, why not? We'll give this. We'll give the guests a little bit more of a viewing experience. Place that down right there. So, like with most things, I want to try to optimize this just ever so slightly. Turn that. Go around. Now turn. Turn. Slide it past there. Tight to the fence. Can have a little curve. I do kind of. I don't. I don't want them to look like this is a box park, but something like that looks good. Connect this. It actually got... Oh, it's because I put this power station in a weird spot. But I can actually put the power station... Or the substation in the pen. And I normally don't like to. But I've never seen a dinosaur actually attack it. So... I think it really matters. Connect those and we should be all powered up. Okay. So... Go ahead and landscape out all the shrub, all the trees and the shrubbery and all of that good garbage. Okay, so get all that out of here. Gotta put down the herbivore feeders. One, two, one, two. And one, oops, two. Okay, now for some water. Got to make sure that it's pretty much all ready to go when they pop in here. And now to kind, oops, let's do that. Pop that off, and right there. All right, got ourselves a nice little looking pond there. So let's release the Sinoceratops. Pretty cool looking dinosaur. I like its, uh, its head. It's got a really cool looking horns on the top there. Okay, it doesn't require that much for us. Let's go ahead and release all of these guys. We'll have to get one more Sinoceratops, so I'll go ahead and put him in there to start incubating. And let's get him some trees now. We're definitely just gonna put him up here in this corner. Probably a couple down here. A couple over here. That should be good, I think. Yeah. They're pretty happy now. Alright, so Sinoceratops check. Now we've got the Stiglamalak. However you say his name. Well, this one's already pretty gene modded out. Increased hyper efficiency blood. So you got 35% chance. Not very good. Not good at all. 21%. Okay. 
These guys actually want four of themselves, so... Start these guys going. Let's go ahead and fill up the food and the other pens that I know... Probably get low. Request received. Request acknowledged. En route to feeder. Alright. Confirming task. Adding to the list. En route to top of feeder. Adding task. Let's see, Ranger Team Resupply 6. Resupply request acknowledged. Adding task. There's that. Ranger Team 3. Responding to resupply request. Okay. Oh my gosh, they all failed. It's going to be a struggle. 21% chance of success. We'll just keep them going. Stiglio Mox. Guess I can try to make one Stigly here and then I can transport it to the pen. Since I want six anyway. Failed. They have to have four, so I have to have four ready to go before I can do anything. Uh, but this park is coming along nicely. Um, little few things here and there that I would like a little bit better, but overall I do really like how this park is starting to look. We'll be back with obviously building this area up and whatnot. I don't know, hold on, why do I have it like this? So stupid. Just connect it like that. Why go around? Oh, they got the 40% failed. Come on, Stiglies. Are you guys happy? You need to go take a drink, you idiot. Go take a drink. What are they doing? Are they socializing? They're socializing. Alright, so I guess while we're sitting here, I need a hotel. So, no better place than to put it right here. It'll fit. Okay, I guess it won't fit, so... I do need a monorail somewhere over here. Ooh, there's like this dip back here. Actually, let me put it in the dip. That's pretty cool. So, it has to be, whenever I do these, it's, it's got to be able to do that and curl around. So, let's take this back and around. I don't really like taking them through the different enclosures, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I much prefer taking them over... far prefer taking them over like the roads and stuff like I did there, but I don't think uh, our friend the Indoraptor is going to care. He's got a giant enclosure here for himself. Okay, well, Stiglies are just failing all over the place. Actually gonna release this one and put it to sleep immediately. Confirm. What? Oh. This thing is not connected over here. Okay. Path. Turn quick. Turn quick again. Can't see anything. There we go. Can I put, that would be the, there's no way it would fit. Um, so let's go ahead and put down, let's put an arcade down here, I guess. I'm only gonna be able to fit one thing, so. Oh, they all three failed again. Come on, Stiglio Mox, you're killing me. 
so I'll start another one going here. We're so close to having this completed. Not that that's like I... I feel like probably I took my sweet time doing this. It's not really like I took my took a bunch of time to do this. Or, or, or it's not like I rushed through this. That's what I was trying to say. Come on, Stiglies, you can do it. All right. So now we need a hotel. How much more of the map do we have over here? So if I put a hotel here, there's probably a room for a little enclosure over there. Probably. I say probably, but uh, not entirely sure. But I gotta put some hotels down, so. Obstructed by what? There's gotta be water. It's always water. Always water. Where's the little water pool? Yep, there's the little water pool over here. It's only not so little. I'm not even sure if that's what was causing it. Or if it was just obstructed. Nope, it was not just obstructed. Alright, hotel down. I think that gives us... Yeah, it gives us plenty of room over here for a little enclosure. Okay, another Stigley failed, but I do have four now, and I can bring these two over, so that'll be our six. Alright, so let's go ahead and move this bad boy over there, and we can start releasing them. Watch our first Stigley, our first real Stigley get released here. Fully G-modded out. Can't really see the, uh, the textures on it, but looks good. Wow, that is a... <laughs> That's not what I expected when it opened its mouth. Alright, so now I gotta release everything else, because will not be happy. It doesn't have friends. So what are you looking like? You're happy with everything. You don't have very high requirements. 14. So 6 and 6 will be on the upper echelon of what it wants, but we can get to work on our Sinoceratops. Transfer him over here. Asset collection request received. And we're essentially completed. That's essentially it for uh, for all the Fallen Kingdom. So we got all our Fallen Kingdom dinosaurs down. Pretty happy with it. Like I said, by far my favorite are these guys because they remind me of the dinosaurs from the dinosaur movie. The one dinosaur. It's just one dinosaur, right? I don't know. I'm gonna have to watch that movie again. It's gotta be somewhere. I can't imagine it was popular in the large scheme of like movies. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got to be free somewhere to watch. I own it on, like, VHS, but <laughs> who has a VHS player? We got the Allosaurus. Probably my least fa- No, 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 no. Probably my second favorite uh, dinosaur uh, out of this pack. Pretty cool dinosaur. I wish you could have two in an uh, enclosure. Uh, the Baronyx is next, probably my least favorite, um, kind of generic, uh, pretty much reminds me of a less cool version of one of the deluxe DLC dinosaurs that we'll be getting, uh, they'll, they'll probably get their own spot in this park, the deluxe, we'll probably put them up in this corner or something, the deluxe dinosaurs, um, the Indoraptor, where's my buddy? trying to break out oh no he's trying to get the goat i was gonna say he shouldn't be trying to break out no matter what his comfort level becomes he should not try to break out but i will put down some more trees for you since you are unhappy with the amount of trees how are you still upset with the trees indoraptor 
maybe I'll like the Indoraptor more once I see the movie, but he's probably my third favorite dinosaur from this pack. Uh, obviously behind the Allosaurus and the... Asset has been transported. Whatever Saurus is over there that I forget its name. Okay, good. You're not bad anymore. I always want to say the Serata, but it's the Carnotaurus. I always want to say Serato because we've been with them. The Stigly. I mean, I kind of like the Stiglies, but they're not, like, anything special. I'm going to landscape and make this a little bit bigger. Maybe go like that. So it's an actual pond for them. So the Stiglies, they're probably, they're probably my least favorite. I really like them, but they're probably my least favorite. They're just, not, or, they're probably ahead of the Baronix because they're kind of cool, but they're just ahead of him. And then this one is probably third. I would move Indo below this. I, I just, I don't know. I like the design of the Sinoceratops, so. That's pretty much going to do it, though, guys, for this. Um, we can release our final Sinnoh, and we've got six of each in the pen, I think. Yep, that'll make six of each of those dinosaurs. So, yeah, that's going to do it. Um, I'm liking the looks of this park. Obviously, it doesn't... It, it's mostly dinosaurs at this point. There's not a lot of food and stuff, but uh, we're working on it. I don't get how people are upset with the transport. I really don't get that. I, I, I can't can't figure that out while you're upset with the transport. That That's pretty good transport, for to, if I do say so myself, without, like, completely messing up the like integrity of your park um i think it's pretty good do want to do oh yeah i tried this i can't oh can i i actually can so i don't know what i'm talking about i wanted to like i'll probably just show kind of my idea and then i'll finish it up and then i want to run i think i can even put a enclosure around here I probably can't use a Hammond's creation lab that probably can't happen but I think I can even fit a little enclosure in here but I wanted to wall this off probably not the most optimal walling of probably do it here Probably slightly too small for an exhibit. Eh, you could, eh, eh, you could probably do it. You could probably do it. I could probably fit an exhibit in there. Probably have to be like Struthies or like a. Actually, we could probably put a T Rex in there or an Indominus Rex. Probably couldn't get many viewing stands there, but we'll see. I'll probably end up deleting that, but it was a concept idea I had in my mind that I didn't want to forget. Uh, but I, I do like how this park is coming along. Um, really looking forward to uh, unlocking the Deluxe Edition Dinosaurs next that I have to unlock. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of this. This will be the final Fallen Kingdom episode unless I figure out something else I can do with the Fallen Kingdom Dinosaurs. Maybe I'll make an episode and fight them and see who wins. Obviously, I think the Indoraptor... Well, hold on. So we got... We had. How do you see their attack? Where? Okay, so we've got 121 attack there, but he's not. These aren't gene modded to attack, but 107. So Carno is winning now, but Carno gets two. We got to keep that in mind. It's a 2v1. What do you have for attack? 112, so two Baronix against two Carnos would be interesting. They're relatively close. Where are you, Indo? What is your attack? Attack is 170, and it's got some defense genes. Okay, so yeah, we could probably have some fights. We could have like a pack of four of these guys go and fight. They're actually not like weak, so like two of them maybe. And then like five of these it had to be like five stickies or they're not gonna do anything but yeah guys that's gonna do it uh hope you guys enjoyed drop a like if you did subscribe if you haven't and we'll be back with more jurassic world evolution um doing both the missions and working on this park uh and so i'll catch you all then peace out